Academy kwa kwa Aib Abdulkadir utujuze ni yapi anaendelea kwa hivi sasa na iwapo wazazi kama tayari washawasili na kuweza kutambua miili yao na pia vile vile kiini cha moto huo kama kimeweza kubainika kwa hivi sasa Uh, good afternoon, Lulu, from the Hillside and Arusha Academy in Kiani West constituency. In Kiani West, that is in Kiani constituency here in the county of Nyeri. And uh, uh, true to the statement you have uh, made there uh, by the Ministry of Education, which had confirmed the unfortunate loss of lives of 17 learners, uh, according to the uh, Principal Secretary for Basic Education, Dr. Belio Kipsang, who had issued uh, that statement. Uh, this morning following the tragedy that unfolded here at the hillside and the Russia Academy and the fire incident according to him had also left 14 learners injured uh, some of them we understand have been admitted at the PGH which is the uh, provisional general hospital here in the county of uh, Nyeri one we understand of uh, the learners has been admitted at uh, the Odaya Hospital or Moai Kibaki, if you may like, because of the serious degree of burns that he sustained. And uh, in the provision of uh, the number of learners in this uh, facility, uh, Belio Kipsang also talked about the total enrollment of 824 students, 402 were boys and 422 uh, girls who are admitted in this school and the community here is still coming to terms to comprehend with the tragedy which unfolded here the despair and shock painfully uh, obvious from the official expression here in this multi-agency uh, coordination effort that's led by the uh, county commissioner of uh, Nyeri who also uh, verified to us that the incident started at around 11 p.m. last night and uh, it was uh, the effort of the Kiawara Fire Brigade first here and after they were overwhelmed is when they called for reinforcement from Nyeri town and it took them about 3.5 hours to be here because of the distance of this school from Nyeri town which is roughly some 40 kilometers when the tragedy unfolded and the dormitory we understand where the fire happened had 152 boys here. Here in then Lulu, what's happening also is that the Kenya Red Cross had uh, set up uh, since uh, la e early morning uh, a contact tracing desk where parents and guardians who are coming here uh, would be uh, furnished with information about uh, the status of uh, their children here or kids. And uh, the, the concern with that is uh, most of the guardians and parents who are coming here who are, are trooping in I'm not sure whether amongst the 17 their kids or some of the learners are and that's the uncertainty which continues to engulf the uh, parents and guardians who are coming here and, and that's an activity which is undertaken by the Kenya Red Cross here at the hillside in the Russia Academy in Kenya West in Kenya constituency. Now the priority here now is that uh, this is turning out to be a humanitarian exercise that uh, will uh, see the many hands of uh, the uh, partners that are here including the county commissioner who is leading uh, the efforts here in an attempt to uh, do the tracing as required but beyond this point we are not allowed to move beyond that uh, yellow tape by the directorate of uh, criminal investigation forensic team that has been camping here uh, since uh, early morning some of them arriving last night and uh, independently verifying uh, to us and the agony now is uh, it will shift to the uh, concerns that parents here are expressing this morning in telling of a disaster uh, which happened here and which is still they are unable uh, to uh, think over and hardly come to terms with in terms of processing that uh, information and the hospitalization is going to be another aspect here where the those who have been uh, admitted at the Nyeri PGH will be undergoing medical attention and will be, of course, getting the medical reports from the uh, practitioners who will be telling us more about uh, the degree of uh, the burns that uh, they have uh, sustained. And then the question which will be now uh, shifting to the safety standards as to whether that uh, was uh, adhered to because of the unbearable loss of the 17 lives here as confirmed by the Ministry of Education. And this is the news that no 
one wanted to cover and uh, walking, waking up to this uh, is uh, the, uh, the point that had terrified many uh, parents here and the community here in Kiani West and Kiani constituency. And we are following up on, uh, closely on some of uh, uh, the parents and guardian, guardians who are here, some who we had witnessed uh, uh, with our lenses uh, as they have been briefed about uh, all the information they were given regarding uh, their children or the learners. Uh, and uh, the activity that will be happening up next is uh, then how to move the bodies because the area is cordoned off we are not allowed to move beyond that point and uh, it then means that an exercise will be happening that will be coordinated by the Ministry of Health the Ministry of Interior and the Kenya Red Cross in ferrying the bodies because we understand from uh, sources that uh, the bodies of uh, the unfortunate loss of lives and the bodies of the 17 learners a majority of them have not been retrieved from the dormitory and of course if given access we'll be establishing then what happened because that will give us an idea of how the dormitory look like, looks like in terms of uh, its um, engineering and whether safety standards were adhered to and, and that will give us uh, an idea a sense of how it looked like and of course the cause of uh, the fire incident which had claimed the 17 lives of uh, the learners and the, the shocking realization and the processing of that information by by the parents and the guardians here. Some of them we can't, of course, air because of the distressing uh, scale of uh, what they are going through because there's a room on my right where the Kenya Red Cross has established that desk and uh, it's um, full of parents, some still trooping in from the main gate. Uh, they will be heading there and uncertain about whether of the 17, their children, their children, or uh, the children that they have sent here as uh, a part of the 17 who had unfortunately lost uh, their lives. And that, that will be where our focus of attention will be as well as establishing the cause of uh, the incident. And uh, as you can see also, Behind me is a gathering of uh, the leaders from Nyeri County, including the Governor Mutahi Kahiga and the woman MP Rahab, who is here as well, and uh, the Kione constituency lawmaker in the company of the County Commissioner, who are uh, chatting in low tones perhaps uh, as to uh, how to move next and uh, uh, volunteering of uh, the community health uh, uh, promoters who are here as well to help or offer a helping hand to what's ongoing here at the moment, Lulu, and our, our viewers. And that gives you the sense of. Uh, uh, the idea of what's happening here at the hillside in the Russia Academy in Kiani West in uh, Kiani constituency on the right is as I have mentioned where the uh, contact tracing desk is happening by the uh, Kenya Red Cross and uh, it is a, a big concern because outside is also the community that uh, is gathering uh, to get a glimpse of uh, what has happened here, though they have not been allowed to gain access to the compound. And uh, because of the segmentation by the Directorate of uh, Criminal Investigation, the forensic team we understand is here and is coming through the dormitory where the fire happened, which at the time had 152. And, and, and if given access, we'll be able to establish whether the uh, safety standards have been adhered to, but they are still doing that exercise and we have not been allowed to go beyond that point. And the main gate is where the members of the community around here, uh, the, around the school where the uh, environment, its environs, are still gathering and to get a, a glimpse, to get an idea of uh, what's happened here uh, last night. And the four-hour wait between 11 p.m. and 3 p.m. When the reinforcement from the Nyeri Town Fire Brigade came here after the first responders were overwhelmed uh, when the fire incident had started. Uh, outside, we have also witnessed some parents who are in, in shock, uh, unable to also come to terms with what has happened here. And we are constantly seeing how the Kenya Red Cross officials are also getting outside the main gate in, in fishing out uh, parents or guardians uh, who whose kids were here or learners were here or children to gain access. And then they are, after they will be led into the Kenya Red Cross contact desk room where that will be happening and uh, all this happening at a time when the country has woken up uh, to the uh, news of uh, the uh, the news of the fire tragedy which uh, had uh, happened here and will be getting an idea of uh, what uh, that uh, will entail as uh, the other important part will be kick-starting and that will include uh, the verification and uh, the forensic team of the DCI that will be uh, doing that exercise. And uh, 
not sure whether we'll be given that access, but uh, uh, we are hopeful that uh, we will be granted that access. And, and to just uh, get a glimpse, if we can establish the Kenya Red Cross officials who are here just uh, behind us uh, in uh, calling some of uh, the uh, parents, as uh, Luli, you can establish, this is the uh, main entrance gate of uh, the school where the Kenya Red Cross officials are uh, getting the parents and at least uh, on behalf of uh, some of the responders here allowing access um, from the security agencies uh, for the parents to access this facility and uh, get a confirmation of uh, whether their learners or the children they have sent here are safe, whether they are amongst the 17 who unfortunately their, cut, their lives were uh, cut off by the fire or some of those who were injured and what about the questions on the remaining of the 152 and, and that's why we will be here to at least uh, gather more information about uh, uh, what really caused or what has kick-started uh, the fire, the incident which led to the loss of lives of 17 learners here in this school in Kiani West in uh, Kiani constituency in, in Nyeri and uh, the response of uh, the fire brigade uh, from uh, Nyeri County and uh, the shocking environment here and uh, the grief that has engulfed the community here of parents and guardians, the leadership of the county, the Ministry of Education officials, the Ministry of Interior officials, the DCI forensic team that uh, is uh, also here. The confirmation also we had, Lulu and our viewers, is that um, the county commissioner, Mr. Pius Morugu, confirmed to us uh, that uh, the one case is uh, uh, admitted, one of the learners admitted at uh, the Odaya Hospital or Muay Kibaki Hospital because of the serious degree of burns that uh, the learner had sustained and then the others, uh, the 14, the 13 uh, at the Nyeri Provisional, Provincial uh, General Hospital where they are undergoing medical treatment and our team um, Kamau Mwangi and Boniface Duku are there uh, to gather more information about uh, the um, those who are admitted and are undergoing medical care by the uh, professionals and uh, the, most of the people we managed to speak to outside the get here Lulu and to our viewers to them this trauma is unimaginable and uh, they expressed, they expressed concern about uh, the substantial lack of uh, coordinated effort as to what happened between 11 p.m. when the fire started. The first responders were here. They were overwhelmed and they called for reinforcement from the Nyeri Town Fire Brigade. And it's at that point that uh, the fire was put off at 3 p.m. when they were here. It's the four-hour gap where the questions will be raised on the unbearable loss of lives of the 17 uh, learners here in in this school which uh, is in Kenny West constitu in Kenny in Kenny West constituency uh, Kenny West in Kenny constituency and hardly the control by parents and guardians here who are uh, unable uh, to come to uh, terms and uh, to tell of tales of a disaster that has happened here and the innocent learners who whose lives were cut short and the pictures we are seeing on your screens at the moment, Lulu, is of the cordon of area by the DCI forensic team here at the school, apparently to block off any access to the dormitory where the fire incident had happened and the exercise which will be kick-starting thereafter will be the retrieval of uh, the bodies, the forensic team as you can see, cladded in the uh, white clothing. Uh, still combing the area to gather more information and outside is where you can see the county leadership, the area MP who is here, the county governor, the woman MP and the Ministry of Education officials and still also processing the degree of uh, the disaster that has happened here and uh, how they were woken up and so was uh, uh, the country to the shocking news, news that uh, no one wanted uh, to hear or cover but it is the questions that will be raised thereafter on how uh, this uh, will be of course investigated given the circumstances under which this has unfolded and uh, the safety standards that are required in schools and whether that was adhered to and as well 
we'll be establishing, of course, uh, some of those parents who uh, have been affected. To just show you a glimpse of the room where the Red Cross team had uh, uh, set up uh, their, their room, and uh, unfortunately, we'll not be able to show some of the activities going on in those rooms that the uh, Kenya Red Cross had uh, uh, managed to establish and where parents, after getting access to this facility, will be uh, guided that direction by the Kenya Red Cross. Hopefully, I can also see the Secretary General of the Kenya Red Cross, Dr. Ahmed Idris, will be talking to us shortly. His team has been here. Uh, the County Commissioner is coordinating this effort, and uh, uh, we have seen also that uh, uh, a statement by the Ministry of Education, Kips, Dr. Belio Kipsang, the Principal Secretary, who had confirmed the unfortunate loss of lives of the uh, 17 uh, the people. Here's Belio Kipsang. Uh, probably we can um, uh, listen to what he's saying. If we can move, uh, Kevin, uh, can help you get the live view machine. Okay, here we go. Um, to get a glimpse of what uh, the principal secretary is saying, Dr. Belio Kipsang. Moving on there. Let's uh, just uh, get the statement uh, from the principal secretary. Yes, sir. Okay. okay, sir. Okay. You are being here this morning, and as we are all aware, we have had this uh, tragic accident that involved fire in our school. Hillside and the Russia Academy. We've been briefed that it happened almost one o'clock last night. And I want to thank the team at the county level. Thank most sincerely the governor because uh, their reaction time was quite good in terms of the necessary equipment that we needed the support that we needed so that uh, we could deal with the fire last night. But from the onset, I would want to convey our condolences this morning. As we are all aware, the president was out of the country, but this morning he called me and he called the regional commissioner. One is to convey his condolences. Two is to how to move forward on this tragic situation. We all the deputy president who will be joining us in a long time. He was attending a funeral, but he's on his way coming here so that he can lead all of us in dealing with this situation. As our team leader, he has to deal with this situation. He was to arrive here tomorrow, but so that he'll be here this evening, tonight, also to be part of the team is going to lead all of us as we deal with this tragic situation. Our CS for internal security, the interior CS, Professor Kindiki, is arriving here shortly. So Dr. Mtazamaji, picha hizo zinakujia moja kwa moja kutoka shule ya Hillside and Rush Academy huko Kieni, county ya Nyeri. Kama tuliweza kumsikia, uh, Belio Kipsanga ambaye ni katibu katika wizara ya elimu akisema kwamba moto huo 
una kisiwa kuanza mwendo wa saa saba na pia vile vile akatoa hongera zake kwa kaunti ya Nyeri akisema kwamba ulichukua muda mwafaka kuweza uh, kusawazisha mambo lakini upande mwingine kwa Ayub Abdikadir ambaye ni mwanahabari pia anasema kuna lile swala la ku, ku, kwa muda wa saa nne pia litaweza kuibu, kuibuka kwani wanasema kwamba uh, ni muda ambao umechukua mwendo wa saa tano kulingana na wanahabari tofauti na vile uh, katibu wizara ya elimu aliweza kusema lakini wanahabari wanasema moto huo unakisiwa kwanza hapo mwendo wa saa tano lakini kwa hivi sasa naarifiwa kwamba kila kitu kwa shwari tuweze kumpata kumsikia katibu huyo wizara ya elimu mtu Dip... diplomat Eight. And we are asking our parents to be patient as we deal with this issue. We are also asking all of us, mainly the local community. I know when the Diplomat. Invasion charge. Na mtazamaji kama unavyoona ni picha hizo zinakujia moja kwa moja na wazazi tunaweza kuwaona huku katibu katika Wizara ya Elimu akiomba wazazi kuwa watulivu kiasi kitambo wana habari waweze kufika katika eneo hilo la Mkasa ikumbuka kwamba Ayub Abdikadir pia aliweza kusema kwamba wako nje ya lango la shule hiyo hawajaruhusiwa kuingia ndani kuweza kuona hali jinsi ilivyo ikumbuka kwamba mtazamaji wanafunzi 17 wamefariki katika mkasa huu wa moto wa shule hii ya msingi ya Hillside and Arusha Academy eh, huko Kieni Magharibi kaunti ya Nyeri na pia naarifiwa kwamba wanafunzi wengine 14 tumeweza kusikia kwamba wamekimbizwa hospitalini baada ya kupata majeraha ya moto mtazamaji ni taarifa ambayo tunaifuatilizia kwa karibu sana hapo mwendo wa saa saba utakujuza mengi zaidi na pia naarifa vile vile pia gavana wa Nehilo Mutahi Kaiga pia tayari kishawasili na pia shirika la msalaba mwekundu pia vile vile wamewasili na kamishna wa kaunti pia yupo katika eneo la Mkasa utakujuza mengi zaidi baada ya muda soko mrefu sende mali